Hi everyone, my name is Patrick, the product manager of Sky Civil Load Generator. In this video, I will show you how to use the Sky Civil Load Generator in calculating wind load for tanks and silos using ASCE 716. Uh, th this one is uh, released recently for ASCE 716 and 722. So first step is to select the design code. So this is the ASE 716 and then click proceed. The first step is to click the site data and then select for risk category. Let's say it's a risk category three and the location is in Minneapolis, Minnesota. And then wait for the wind speed and the elevation. So Definitely, you can edit these uh, wind speed and snow load values, but for now, I'll just accept what the system uh, gave. So, click confirm site data and then go to the structure data. Uh, on the structure drop down, you can select the tanks, silos, or circular beans. So, this is the, the schematic diagram or the figure. So there's the H, the C, D, and the uh, mean roof height, which is H. So in this tutorial, I'll be using the following. So diameter is 100 feet. Solid cylinder height is 60 feet. Roof pitch angle is 23 degrees. Clearance above ground. Uh, I'll say this. They, it doesn't have clearance above uh, ground, so zero. Ground to centroid. Let's say it's a uh, full. I'll just uh, get the half of the uh, cylinder height and then the configuration. So isolated or the tank is uh, classified as group but with center to center spacing greater than two diameter. Or if it's less than that, uh, you need to select the group circular bins. So if you selected the isolated, the number of tanks uh, will be set to 1. But if uh, you selected group, you need to edit this one so that the total area uh, of the vertical projection of those tanks will be calculated. In This is used in determining the design wind force acting on the wall. But for now, I'll just use isolated and then confirm structure data. So uh, click the checkbox for the wind load and then click the wind load uh, parameters. For now, I'll just uh, use uh, exposure B and then wind direction uh, from north. By the way, uh, in this structure tab, uh, the good thing about that is once you put the dimensions you can just click the 3d render to ima uh, to visualize the structure uh, so this one is just uh, how it will uh, be proportional or, or, or how the structure is scaled based on your uh, input uh, parameters so going back to the wind load uh, i just need to select uh, tank silos pins and then I need to select the enclosure classification. So enclosure classification, you need the internal pressure coefficients in calculating the roof uh, with pressures. So I'll say uh, this is an enclosed building. Also, the surface type, uh, let's say it's uh, moderately smooth. This one is used in determining the net force coefficient for the walls and then this is assume rigid so for now i'll just uh, accept that it's 0.85 by the way this is the stack silo so the forces uh, generated will be for the main main frame and not the components once uh, okay i just need to click calculate loads and wait for the results to come back. So there will be 
Actually, there will be three surfaces if you have uh, a clearance. But since we don't have that clearance, uh, there will be only two. So force acting on the wall and forces at, on the roof. So for the wall, uh, this is the calculated. Uh, this is the uh, force, design with force calculated. But uh, since you have the minimum design with pressure, which is 16 PSF for metric, or sorry, for imperial, uh, you need to generate that uh, design case also. So you, you, you need to compare if uh, it is within the minimum force. So this is the calculated minimum design force. And then this one, the zone uh, roof pressures. So this, uh, this is combined with positive uh, internal pressure coefficient. So this is negative 37 and combined with negative pressure coefficient, negative 15. Uh, when you scroll down, you can see the zoning based on the data with uh, roof angle. So you need to check the effect of this uh, pressures. So you need to apply combined with positive uh, GCPI uh, first. And then your second load case will be combined with negative GCPI. And then uh, you can see the wind parameters on the left and the structure parameters. And then click clicking the detailed wind load, you can see all the assumptions and the formula used in the uh, load calculation. So this one is the net, net force coefficient. Uh, for the uh, actually it also calculates the overturning moment so this is the overturning moment and the uh, minimum design force for the roof and then summary of forces it will it will also give you the service wind wind pressures or wind forces which is just uh, multiplied by 0 0.6 of the ultimate and that's how you use the Skysave Load Generator for tanks and silos.